Shalom, 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 family. Shalom, 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 family. Shalom, family. Um, all praise to you. How about Shema Mashiach Yahushai? Call me a Shalom. We still got next. Hallelujah. Bring it out. All the camps in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Um, real quick, this is going to be an announcement for our HOI Los Angeles. Feast of Dedication, um, which will be held this Wednesday. Feast of Dedication, according to HOI's calendar, starts this Wednesday. Um, starts this Wednesday, uh, December um, 6, 2023, at even. This Wednesday, December 6, 2023, at even, starts our feast of dedication. So um hope your brothers and sisters are in the spirit and you're getting ready for your Hanukkah, your feast of dedication. Hopefully, um you got your menorahs. Um there's still time to get menorahs from Shalom everybody. Shalom Hana. Shalom Mark. Right, Shalom Vashala. Shalom everybody. Um, there's still time to get your menorahs. Um, you can order them from me. Um, you'll still get them in time within the eight days of the Feast of Dedication. You may not get it for the opening unless you overnight it. Um, that'll be a little bit pricey, but um, you need your menorahs for the Feast of Dedication. So let me see what I got today. I got a... Uh, today I have five inch... Well, not today. I got more in stock, but this is what I got on hand today. I have a five inch, right? Um, oh, I see Brother Calvin up there. Brother Calvin, I got you. I got you, Brother Calvin. Um, we got a 10 inch. We got the 10 inch with Shalom on one side and Jerusalem on the other side. And the um, tribes, the different symbols of the tribes. And the um, shield, the lily is on it. All right. We got the uh, 10 inch. That's the 10 inch. Um, we have the 12 inch. This is the 12 inch plain design. 12 inch with the platform on the bottom. That's the 12 inch design. 12 inch. All right. That's the 12 inch design. And, um, and I got a... Uh, the 18 inch. This is the 18 inch. All right. With Shalom and Jerusalem. It says Shalom or Shalom in the modern Hebrew and Jerusalem on the other side. All right. That's the uh, 18 inch. That's the 18 inch with Shalom and Jerusalem on the other side. All right. 18 inch, one and a half feet. All right. So. Those are the four I have for display today. You can you still got time to get your menorahs, get your orders in. Um, I also have six inch. I also have a uh, six inch, seven inch, ten inch, twelve, fifteen inch, sixteen inch, eighteen inch, uh, twenty one inch, twenty four inch, and three feet. I got two feet and three feet. All right, three feet coming to my chest. Some of y'all saw me advertise it. And I got pictures of all of those for those that are interested. You can still get your menorahs. Um, I got all the way down, as small as five inches, all the way up to eight, 18 inches. All right, the grande, grande, and even larger than that. All right, so... Um, you need your menorahs because you need to light your menorah for the eight days of Kanaka or Hanukkah, right? Um, so you brothers and sisters, you should be preparing, um, getting your homes together, getting the vib right vib vibration in your homes, praying, burning some frankincense and myrrh, send us some prayers between today, tomorrow, Shalom, daughter. Well, you should always send up prayers, goddammit, but um, send up prayers and, uh, you know, pray for a good Hanukkah season, good eight days of Feast of Dedication season. Um, Shalom, Micah, Allah. Um, so, 
get prepared these next couple of days because Wednesday sundown starts. Starts. Shalom, Abishay. <laughs> You know, I mess with you with the name, Bach Shalom. H O I Los Angeles in the building. Um, sundown Wednesday starts the beginning of the feast. All right. So um get your menorahs, contact me here, inbox me here on Facebook, or hit me up on um Instagram, Kanai Zabak, or email at House of Israel NYC at gmail.com. House of Israel NYC at gmail.com to get your uh, menorahs. If you, st you still have time to get them. Those that have already placed orders. Your orders will be going out between today and tomorrow. They usually take between two to three days. So you'll get them. You know I try to get them out as fast as possible. But uh, you know it's depending on when you order. You know I try to get them out. But uh, you know if you would have ordered earlier. You would have got it earlier. But um, I'll, I'll get them out as fast as I can. If you don't get it by Wednesday sundown, let's say you get it Thursday during the afternoon, you can still light it. You get it Friday, you're still within the eight days of Hanukkah. All right, even if you get it up into the weekend or early next week, you still got time to burn your menorah for the eight days. You might have only four days, depending on when you order. But you still have time to order. And then afterwards, you have your menorah for your Sabbaths and your other feast days and throughout the year. And you got it for next year's Hanukkah. Lord forbid, but, you know, if the chariots don't come and get us, but, um, you know, you'll have it for next year. So you still have time. Inbox me here or on Instagram or houseofisraelnyc at gmail.com. Put in your orders for your menorahs. I got all sizes. I just showed y'all four sizes I have, but I have all sizes all the way up to three feet up to my chest. All right. So without further ado, um, all Hebrews... All members of HOI rank and file, all um, students, recruits, uh, all followers of HOI. Um, we are having the Feast of Dedication Hanukkah in the Los Angeles area, namely in the Inglewood area. Um, if you're familiar with the LA area, we're going to be in Inglewood. To get the exact address, you have to inbox me or email me because you have to be vetted. We don't want nobody just showing up to the feast with no wild doctrine or you an individual like you coming to cause a disruption. No, we ask you to come in peace because we want to have a peaceful Hanukkah. So HOI Los Angeles will be hosting this Wednesday, December 6th, 2023 at even in Inglewood, California. Um, HOI Los Angeles Feast of Dedication or Hanukkah or Hanukkah. All right, so come on out. Um, you could bring a dish, drinks, uh, make a monetary donation, or you could do both. Um, but come in the spirit. If you, you know, HOI rank and file, you already know. The main congregation, the recruits, the students, the people that are learning with us online. If you're in the Los Angeles area, come on out and celebrate the uh, Feast of Dedication with us. All right. So again, that's going to be this Wednesday. Hanukkah opens up this year for 2023 for HOI's calendar this Wednesday, December 6th at even. All right. If you're not able, if you're not in the Los Angeles area, we have other parts of the country. We have Las Vegas. We have uh, Philadelphia, New York, New Jersey, uh, DMV area, DC, uh, Midwest area, Detroit, um, Milwaukee, and Illinois. We have the South, we have Atlanta, all right? We have Houston with Elder Terah. Um, did I forget anybody? Salakia. Um, if I forgot any state, I didn't do it on purpose. Damn it. We got the UK, oh, Salakia. We got the UK. So if you're near any of them areas, uh, we got North Carolina, Salakia. We got the Carolinas, Salakia. Um, so if you're in any of those areas, you can fellowship with one of the bodies of HOI. If you can't, if you can't, then Wednesday, shout out babe, then Wednesday at sundown, you read the story of the Maccabees. Read 1 Maccabees, the fourth chapter, and do the best you can with the history, or you can come on one of our live services. We'll have a whole bunch of live services on YouTube, Facebook. We'll be live 
You can tune in with us and get the story and the history. So what do you do? We went over this already. The uh, Feast of uh, Hanukkah, it's the celebration of the uh, Maccabees, Judas and the Maccabees, taking back the temple from the Greeks and dedicating the temple and the altar back to the Most High for eight days. All right, so um, it's a beautiful time, you know. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Like Esau say, Esau sing that for his Christmas madness, but... You know, you know, even in the world, you got a, you got a certain feeling around this time of the year, even when you was into Esau's pagan feast days. But now you get that feeling because you're celebrating the true feast days of the scriptures, which is the Hanukkah or Hanukkah or Feast of Dedication. All right. You're celebrating the true feast days. So you get that joyful feeling because why? You're doing it for the right reason now. You're celebrating for the right reason now. All right. Let's go to... um. Second Maccabees, all right? Let's go to Second Maccabees chapter 10. All right, and we go over these scriptures every year so y'all can understand what the Hanukkah is about. Um, to get the main story, you read First Maccabees chapters 1 through 4. All right, and we're going to go over some other verses during the lesson to, uh, to inform y'all. But this is Second Mac Maccabees chapter um, 10 verse 1. This, if you got the red apocrypha, is on page 150 in a red apocrypha. And it says, Now Maccabeus and his company, the Lord guiding them, recovered the temple and the city. So, what's the most important thing here in this verse? Everything is important, but it said, The Lord guiding them. It said, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Mashiach Yahushai, guiding them. They were not able, the Levites, right, which would be the so called Haitians today, for those that co-signed to the chart. They could not defeat the Greeks and their armies and their inquisition without the power of the Mosai. So it said, the Lord guided them, recovered the temple and the city, but the altars which the heathen had built in the open street and also the chapels they pulled down because the heathen had built altars. Just like when you go back to... um. You can go back to Ezra, the third chapter, right? Ezra, the third chapter in the scriptures can link up with 2 Maccabees 10 and 2. The heathen, when they invaded the city during the time of the Greek Inquisition, they built idol altars all throughout the city. Israel, during the time of Ezra, when we took, when the Persians allowed us to come back to rebuild the city, we built righteous altars to sacrifice to the Most High all around the city. So see that all the all heathen did, the job of Esau, the so-called white man, is mainly to take us away from worshiping the Most High. They just take everything we do and they reverse it and make it satanic. So they built idol altars where they put idols and swine and, and uh, statues of Zeus and effigies of Zeus and all that and different um, uh, Roman and Greek gods and goddesses on the altars to sacrifice to their false gods and goddesses on the satanic side. We took back the temple and did the righteous sacrifices to the Most High on the altar in the temple. All right, so uh, 2 Maccabees 10 and 2, you can link with Ezra, the third chapter. We built righteous altars all over the city. All they did was take over the city and build wicked altars all over the city to uh, sacrifice to Satan. Verse 3, and having cleansed the temple, they made another altar and striking stones, they took fire out of them and offered a sacrifice after two years and set forth incense and lights and showbread. <clears throat> because, you know, uh, over two years, they weren't able to offer any of the righteous sacrifices to the Most High on the altar because the Greeks had took over the temple and the altar. Verse four, when that was done, they fell flat and besought the Lord Yahweh that they might come no more into such troubles. But if they sinned any more against him, he himself would chasten them with mercy and that they might not be delivered unto the blasphemous and barbarous nations. So, Shalom Amina, Shalom uh, um, Taya, Shalom everybody. Um, so, we were a spiritual people and we understood the most I punished us for our sins. So they understood that. They said, listen, if the most I grant us mercy... Shalom, Sister Janice. Shalom, family. If the Most High grant us mercy, 
we rather the most high punish us directly, send an angel or whatever form of punishment than for us to be punished by the heathen Greek Edomites again. They said we'd rather be punished by the most high than the actual heathen. Because these Edomites were so barbarous and blasphemous, right? Um, verse five, now upon the same day that the strangers profaned the temple, <clears throat> on the very same day, it was cleansed again. And you can read that in 1 Maccabees, the first chapter, and 1 Maccabees, the fourth chapter. 1 Maccabees, the first chapter, tells you that the Greeks defiled the temple on the 25th day of the ninth month. 1 Maccabees, the fourth chapter, tells you Judas and the Maccabees cleansed the temple on the 25th day of the ninth month. So the Most High mocked the Greeks. He said, on the day that you defile my temple, I'm going to have the Maccabees take it over and cleanse it and dedicate it back to me and make a, an eight-day feast out of it. All right, so y'all can read that in 1 Maccabees, 1st chapter, and 1 Maccabees, 4th chapter. But read chapters 1 through 4 throughout today. If you haven't already, throughout today, the next uh, couple of days till Wednesday, so you can know the history of the story. All right? Now, upon the same day that the strangers profaned the temple, on the very same day it was cleansed again. Oh, Salakia, somebody's calling me. I'll answer it later. I should have put it on Do Not Disturb, Salakia. Um, the very same day it was cleansed again, even a five and twentieth day of the same month, which is Kaslu or Kislev, which is the ninth month. Verse six, and they kept eight days with gladness. So the feast of dedication, a Hanukkah lasts eight days. This year it's from sundown October six at even till sundown. I mean sundown December six at even till sundown. Thursday, December 14th at even, but your closing service will be Wednesday, December 13th because the seventh day closes out going into the eighth day, but then sundown Thursday, the 14th, the Hanukkah is over, but if you want to keep your decorations up and keep celebrating and stay in the spirit, you know, I usually leave my deck going up and I'll be in the spirit all the way into Esau's new year, just like they do with their pagan Christmas, and we're not following them, they're actually following us. All right, so reading on, um, uh, 2 Maccabees 10 and 6. And they kept eight days with gladness, as in the Feast of Tabernacles, remembering that not long before they had held the Feast of Tabernacles when as they wandered in the mountains and dens like beasts, right? Because they were fleeing from the Greeks. So they were like in the mountains and, and dens and wooded area, but they still kept the tabernacles to the best of their ability while fleeing from the Greeks, all right? Therefore, they bear branches and fair bowls and palms also and sang psalms unto them. And if you if you want to do that, you can. This was a special thing that they did because they wanted to remember the Feast of Tabernacles also when they were like, you know, they didn't have a temple. They were wandering around. But you can put bowls or branches with up. But we mainly did that on the Feast of Tabernacles. You can do that for the Feast of Dedication if, if you want, just as a memorial. But you can decorate your house with Hanukkah decoration, whatever the case may be. You're not being commercial. You're not trying to be like Christmas. Don't let these overrighteous Hebrews uh, uh, get in your ear. Right? Don't let these... Kwame Shalom. Shalom. Josh in the building. Zebulon. H-O-I-N-Y-N-J. So don't let these overrighteous Hebrews get in your ear. It's Maccabees Hanukkah season. One of the greatest times of the year. You should rejoice during this season. All right, I love this season, man. I always get a good feeling during this season, right? Just like you got in the world for, for the pagan season. You know, I, I wondered, like, even in the, in the world, I was like, why is it a, a, a joyful spirit during this time of the year, which you should be in a joyful spirit, praising the Most High all time of the year. Shalom, Noah. Good music, good music you and Mahar and the brothers putting out. Call me Shalom. Shalom, Josh. Um... So I always wondered, but when I came into the truth, I said, wait a minute. You know what is, we get like that tingling, joyful feeling during this time of the year. I always thought it was because of Christmas. Well, in the world, you it was because of the pagan holidays. But I said, oh, our true feast day, the Maccabees happens during this time of the year. So that's why, you know, it made sense when I came into the truth. I was like, oh, it makes sense. That's why we kind of get that tingly joy, but you didn't understand in the world. You thought it was for Christmas and for New Year's and the pagan season, which 
Don't get me wrong. That is a very seducing spirit. That this pagan holiday season, it's a very seducing spirit. I know people, I know young younger brothers and sisters that was raised in the truth. And once they got 18, 21, they ran to these pagan days. Because they felt like they missed out all of their life being in the truth. Can any, any of y'all relate to that con triple seven? And you can be honest, have, you, have any of you actually had that problem with your children? Or having that problem? Because why is so much, that's why Israel, we need communities. Because a lot of times the children, they're seeing what the rest of the world is doing. Unless you got like a big congregation and then even then, you don't live around brothers and sisters all the time. So you got a Hanukkah menorah up, right? Yeah, Manat Zak said Khan. You got a Hanukkah menorah up in your house, but all their, all their 50, 100 of their friends at school talking about their Christmas trees in their house. You might have one other Hebrew in the school or two or whatever the case may be. That's why we need communities because then our children, uh, um, our children go out, go out and yeah, con all praises, you know, some of y'all don't have to deal with that. That's good. You know, some of you, um, you some of you are blessed with children that hang on in the truth. They, they, some, some, some children just got that spirit. Even when they get older, they stay with the most high. But a lot of these children, once they get older, they want to fit back into the world. Unfortunately, you raise them in the truth. You can be strict on them, Sabbath scriptures, everything. As soon as they get the chance, they run out. All right, so that's good. Yeah, fear of missing out. Right, good. FOMO. Pause. No homo. Nah, FOMO. <laughs> Sister Hana said, no, she don't have to deal with that. You know, because your son, I think or your son is like 19 now, Messiah. He's, you know, his spirit is into the truth. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. You do have some exceptions where, you know, people... Children grow up in the truth. But I get a lot of complaints about that. Uh, Elder, what do I do? My children are confused between these pagan days, whatever the case may be. Shalom, Nathan. So do the best you can and, and, and uh, raise them in these scriptures and in this word. And hopefully they stick with it, even in their older age. Because that's when the challenge is going to come. Yeah, 16 just growing crazy. Yeah, you know. Oh, 16. Okay, Salaki. I'm, I'm thinking 19. <laughs> All right, these children look like they're grown-ups, man, at 15, 16, Salaki. But that's good, you know, if you bless with a child or children that still want to hold on to this truth, because a lot of the peer pressure and the influence, and when they go back January, the first week of January, all their friends at school are talking about what? Ooh, what I got for Christmas, you know? Which um, you can buy gifts and stuff for your for your family, your children during the Hanukkah season. There's no sin in that. Um, again, some overrighteous Hebrews are trying to tell you that um, you're trying to be like Christmas and you just substituting. But no, there's no where there's no law, there's no transgression. All right. Um, um, verse uh, eight, uh, Second Maccabees ten and eight. They ordain also by a common statute and decree that every year those days should be kept of the whole nation. Of the Jews, and this was the end of Antiochus called Epiphany. So it was ordained that we kept the feast of dedication every year by the space of eight days. I was uh, teaching in Hollywood the other night, and um, um, Shalom Adam, Shalom Yash, and a, a so called Persian Jew came up and said, Oh, Hanukkah's a minor, minor, minor feast day. It's a minor holiday. All right. I said, no, it's not so much that it's a minor holiday. It was just added. Shalom, sis. Um, Shalom, Sean Nathania, AOC in the building. Um, it's not so much that it's a minor feast day. It's just that it was a feast day that was added on. It's not originally in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. But when you say it's minor, it's like you're making it insignificant. And you can't do that with the Lord. The Lord want to add a feast later on in history. He can add a feast later on in history. So, you know, the, the, the Persian Jew boy, he took, a, he took correction. But, you know, just because um, Hanukkah is not Leviticus 23 
You don't look at it as an insignificant day. It is part of our history. And that's why 2 Maccabees 10 and 8, they ordain also by a common statute and decree that every year those days should be kept of the whole nation of the Jews. It was ordained to be placed on the calendar of the other feast days of Israel. That's why we don't have to get it, but we always bring it out. St. John 10, 22 and um, 23, Yahweh Shai is keeping the feast of dedication. Y'all can read it on your own. St. John chapter 10, verse 22 and 23. It said he went into Solomon's porch, which he went and he entered the temple on a feast of dedication and he actually started teaching. So the Hanukkah, the feast of dedication is not a Jewish Christmas, is not a substitute for Christmas, is not, oh, it's not Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. We don't have to acknowledge it. No, the Lord can add a feast day to the calendar if he choose. You can't tell the Lord what he can and can't do. All right. So we're going to go from there. So that, that was 2 Maccabees 10. Verses 1 through um, 9. And y'all can read the Maccabees on your own to get the history. And the, um, I'm just getting right to some points. We're going to go to Proverbs 15, 15. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 15. All right. Proverbs 15, 15. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart have a continual feast. So you got to put your spirit into this time of the year. You know. Put your spirit into it. Um, rejoice, no matter what you're going through, right? You could you could be catching hell. You can be going through all kinds of affliction. You can go you be going through stuff in the nation, but you know, put your best on. You know, it's not like you're putting up a front. You know, no, we all going through something. But where you go, where you gonna come in the Lord's feast day? Oh, I, I got this problem. I got that problem. And this brother did this. That sister did that. Oh, woe is me. No, you put your spirit into it. You still rejoice. All right. Um, Shalom. So call Israel. All right. Shalom, everybody. Anybody I miss, Salakia. You put your spirit into it. All right. You put your spirit into it and you um, you rejoice. And you thank the Most High for this time of year and this great history, man. This is a lot of vast history. When you go into... Um, you go into uh, the Maccabees and the different stories of the of the Maccabee brothers and even the Greek generals and um, emperors. Shalawan Sham in the building. All right. Um, even a, even a, uh, um, I'm saying even even some of the Greek characters. There's, it's interesting history to read about. So you don't you don't come with a with a with a burden on the feast day. You do it with joy, willingly. Don't come with a long face. Oh, I had to cook. I had to leave work early. Oh, I had to donate money so we could rent the venue. No, you don't say. I had to put up money to help with the decorations. Oh, brother needed to get here. He needed help with transportation. No, don't make it a burden. All right, Proverbs fifteen fifteen. All the days of the afflicted are evil. But he that is of a merry heart have a continual feast. So put your spirit into it. Yeah, Syrac, please ask us two and four. All right. Um, serve the most high willingly, man. All right. Serve him willingly. Syrac, this is um Syrac. Nathan put that scripture up. Syrac chapter two, verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Con. Right? Fire precept, huh? You know, you got, listen, you got so much to be thankful for. You know, what service will come upon you? You take it on the chin and you keep it pushing. I mean, you ain't dead. You know what I'm saying? You alive. You still here with breath in your life to serve the most high. So we all going through something. <laughs> Believe you me. And just because, you know, you know, I'm we know. Some of some some people, some people are not the type that is the woe is me. You got some of y'all that got the woe is me spirit. Every minute you complain and whine and crying about something. Uh, and you know, you might really be going through stuff, but what about the other person? Us elders and leaders, we got 10 million things we dealing with. And whatever position, when you're in a position of leadership, most of the time, everything gets blamed on you. So you got to take everything on the chin and your personal problems and the problems of the nation 
and the counseling and the complaints and people and don't um don't have a let's say like uh you counseling a husband and a wife. Oh, don't don't take the wife's side. Not taking the wife's side, but just stand up for righteousness. Now, nah, brother, you was wrong. Oh, see these weak ass, weak ass men in Israel, weak ass leaders and elders in Israel, man. Y'all want us to just shut the woman down? No, sometimes you brothers be wrong as hell. You niggas be demons in your house sometimes. Off as hell and think the, the elders and leaders supposed to just take up for you. No, it don't work like that. If you wrong, you wrong. Are you going to get checked? Well, at least over here in HOI, you can do that somewhere else. You know, you women. If you women are, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, sis, you, you know, you got you to gotta respect your husband. Oh, God, you, you brother just want the woman to be like a dog. Just shut down and don't say nothing. No, sis. The scriptures say, thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over you. You're not going to get your way and you're going to get the righteous way. So the point being, when you judge in different matters, a lot of times you're going to offend somebody because they're going to feel like you didn't judge for them. And we get that all the time with councils, with meetings, especially marriage councils. Or what will what happen is, Brothers, brothers will come back to me and sisters sometime. You'll listen to the counselor and say, yeah, yeah, elder, okay. Then you get off the phone and go arguing. E -e 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 what you said? Because we didn't, because we didn't uh, judge in your favor. <coughs> All right, Israel. So the point being, still come to the feast day in the, in the, in the spirit, man. Still come in the spirit and in righteousness and the fellowship with your brothers and sisters, whatever you're going through, it's still going to be there tomorrow. So you might as well smile and enjoy the feast now. And that's another thing. Um, Israel, you got to know how to balance things out. Just because you're going through something doesn't mean everything shuts down. You don't say, oh, I, oh man, I can't, I can't go to the Sabbath class. I mean, I ain't in the spirit. No, that's when you need to take your ass to the Sabbath class. Or how am I going to go to a, 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 a feast day and my spirit is all jacked. Yeah, your spirit is all jacked up. You need to go to the feast day and let the brothers pray over you and anoint you and get your spirit right. Just because you're going through something don't mean everything shuts down or there's a problem or an issue. You, we're going we gonna to shut the Lord's feast day down because you, you, you ain't in the spirit. You don't like something. Right? <coughs> you, you upset or you ain't feeling so... I ain't in the right spirit. Yeah, you're not in the right spirit. You damn right you're not. You need to go and get in the right spirit. So that's all we're saying. When it comes to the Most High's feast days, man, you know, leave leave, leave your burdens at the door because they're going to be there when the feast is over. All right? Or they might not be there. You might keep the feast of the spirit and the Most High bless you and alleviate your problem because you showed forth good works and kept the feast. All right, Proverbs 15, 15 again. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast. So the point being, put your spirit into the feast of dedication, Israel, into the Hanukkah season this year. Sarah 2 and 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And oh, I, I know about that. Most of them brought me up, most of them brought me down. But guess what? I'm always up in the most high, yeah, I was shy. Because every, I don't take nothing as a, I take everything as a learning lesson. And even it, it could be the worst thing, but something good is going to come out of it. That's how the most I work. Remember when Joseph was sold into Egypt? And what happened later on? He was there to help his brethren during the time of the famine. So everything is a blessing. The most I got a blessing in disguise and everything. All right. The scriptures say before honor, there's humility. So sometimes the most I got to humble us down. And then he bestows that. He still um, bestows that honor upon us. So, you know, what service brought upon you, take cheerfully. Don't that, that, the most I don't like all that complaining and moping, man. Because it, it could be worse. It could be worse. You got all your limbs. You got your body. You, you moving. You woke up this morning. You can move around. Some people can't move around. You know? Some people are bedridden, hospital written. Can't move. Paralyzed from their neck down. They were some people rather be dead, like I'm just suffering so much. 
So be thankful. Learn to be thankful. Right? Psalms, uh, uh, what is it? I know we talking about the Hanukkah, but the spirit, man, the spirit, the spirit guides you. All right. Right. Um, Sirach 11, 14, 15. Yeah, another good one. This is Psalms. Oh, we can read that one next. Psalms. Um, Y'all yeah, know what I want. Um, For his mercy endure forever. Psalms 136. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. I just went through a, 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 a crazy situation this morning. Right? <laughs> Most I got this. You know what I'm saying? What, what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? Just went through a crazy... And I don't, I don't talk about all my issues and problems all the time. I said, damn, you know, okay. I sat back, thought for a minute. My children looking at me. Oh, what are we going to do now, daddy? I got it. I got, I got something. We're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? So... The spirit is always going to be there with you. It's always going to be there with you. Um, you put the most high first. What was that one? Um, you want to put up? Uh, shout out. Cincinnati Israelites. Call me a shout out. Um, Sirach 11 and 14. Um, prosperity and adversity. Life and death. Poverty and riches come of Yahweh. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him. God, that's self-explanatory. Everything is of the most high. So if you go through adversity and, and affliction, it's from the most high. So what do you say? You know, oh, I'm catching hell. I ain't going to do the feast of dedication. No. Like I said, sometimes you'll do the feast and then a blessing will come. Most high take away that affliction. So what you going to do is, were you going to sit there and mope around, or are you going to put your trust to the most high in Yahweh Shah? Which one you going to do? Kai? All right, so any questions or comments about Hanukkah? Anybody? Is it your first, is, uh, your first Hanukkah? You have any questions? Anybody? Anybody? Um, any questions? Any general questions about the Hanukkah? Anything you don't understand? Um, as far as the uh, first and eighth day, Yes, H-O-I, we officially keep those as Shabbats because of the verse we just read, 2 Maccabees 10. It says they kept it as the Feast of Tabernacles. So the first and the eighth day of Tabernacles are Sabbaths. I know there's a debate with some camps or congregations that Hanukkah is not a Shabbat, but the first and the eighth day, we keep it as a Shabbat. We, we went through that over the years, but we just made it official. We keep the opening and closing as Shabbats. You got the regular Shabbat in the middle, which will be Friday, sundown, December 8th. And then you have the new moon 10th month, which will be, I believe, Monday, December 11th. Those are all Sabbaths. Those are four Sabbaths within the Feast of Dedication. But you can cook and prepare on those Shabbats for the feast day. All right. You cannot work on a regular Shabbat. You still keep the law of not working buying or selling or anything of that nature, unless it's something for the feast. If it's anything that has to do with the feast, let's say you're having a Sabbath gathering for Hanukkah and you're getting some things together, but you still could get that before Friday sundown for the super righteous brews. I'm not knocking nobody. I'm not knocking nobody. I'm not judging nobody's righteousness, but cooking is allowed on a regular Shabbat because it's during the eight days of the feast. Now, some Israelites, you might say that, and they'll take your head off. You can't cook and steal the Shabbat. Right? You're going off out your kindling fire. But we understand the difference. It's a feast. You're feasting, so, you know, it's an exception for the uh, Shabbat because it's a feast day. All feast days in Leviticus 23 are Sabbaths anyway. Um, and you eat during all those feast days, and except for the Day of Atonement, so... You can cook and prepare on the uh, Shabbat that falls within the Hanukkah. That's the way we understand it because it's an eight-day feast. Um, any other questions? Yes, you can give gifts. You're not trying to be like Christmas. You can give gifts. If you choose not to give gifts because you don't want to look like Santa Claus, um, I'll meet you in the kingdom five minutes after you. you. You're more righteous. I'll see you in the kingdom five minutes later. Most I will. Because you didn't give gifts on Hanukkah. You didn't want to be like Santa. So you're more righteous. I'll be in the kingdom 15 minutes after you. 
Well, if it be the most, I will, if we both make it. Um, any other questions? Any other questions? Anybody, is it is it going to be your first time celebrating Hanukkah? Okay, okay. So we, we pretty much got a, a good, solid crowd in there. And um, if, unless there's any more questions or comments, I'm going to close out. There's nothing else I could think of. I just covered a few basic things. Basically, the eight days of the Feast of Dedication is the celebration of the Maccabees, our ancient Levite brothers, whooping the hell out of the Greeks, chasing them out of the temple, rededicating the temple to the Most High and making an eight-day celebration out of it where they lit the menorah or the, the lampstand. They lit the menorah for eight days straight. Y'all make sure y'all um, light y'all menorahs. Um, for each eight days at sundown, make sure you light your menorah. And there's seven branches, I'm, but I'm going to get into that as I close out. So, any other questions or comments? Shalom Kasaja. Shalom Yash again. I am the bar. So everybody should be getting in the spirit the next few days. Uh, love y'all too. Love y'all too. H-O-I to the chariots fly. I got y'all on my back. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. We're going we gonna to be all right. We're going to continue on and we're going to be all right. All praise to y'all when y'all was shot. Um, I got y'all. I got y'all, family. <laughs> no folly, no folly, no folly. <laughs> oh, man. To this day, to this day, I got y'all. Nah. <laughs> um, Inside joke, inside joke, Salakia. Right. I got y'all, right? Um, so... Yeah, these next couple of days is Monday. You got to Wednesday sundown. Prepare, get your house in order, get your decorations up, whatever the case may be. If you if, if you don't have it already, get your menorahs ready, um, and uh, make sure you burn them. You know, make sure you got your candles, everything, to light your menorahs for the um, eight days. All right, if y'all need anything, let me know. Oh, once again. Um, <laughs> If you don't have menorahs, you need to get one at the last minute. Hit me up. You still got time. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna light it for Wednesday, you probably if you order between now and Wednesday, you probably gonna have to do overnight, and that's a little pricey. Or you can do regular, and it'll still get to you within two to three business days. You'll still get it within the eight days of the Hanukkah. You may not have it for the opening. But you may um, you may get it within the eight days. You can still burn it. Let's say you get your menorah on the fifth day. So you got the rest of the five days of dedication to burn your menorah. Then you got it for the regular feast days and Sabbaths and just, uh, you know, in your home period just to have. All right. So now this is what I just got for display for today. I got all I got other sizes available. This is the five inch. The five inch menorah. Let you see how it look fully. All right. This is the 10 inch with Shalom and Jerusalem on it. This is the 10 inch. All right. This this uh comes with no drip candles. Um this is the 12 inch. This comes with the regular candles. Some of y'all what some of y'all were complaining too about when you burn the candles, they drip down on your menorah. And you got to clean the wax off. You can clean the wax off with warm water and like a butter knife. Just scrape it. Um, you want it done, inbox me. I don't discuss the prices openly. So like, I, I know you probably didn't know, but inbox me. Um, you can scratch off the wax, right? And then sometime you got, um, you can get like that greenish coloring on it from the candle. You can get some brass cleaner. You can get some brass cleaner. Yes, ma'am, Yash, I was getting to that. But no, it's like, yeah. <laughs> no, father, you can get some brass cleaner and wipe it down or just wipe it down. But you can get some brass cleaner and the green. If you get some good brass cleaner, the green will come off. Also, like Yash put out, you can put olive or you can rub your menorah down with olive oil. All right. <laughs> no, father. Look like I'm damn caressing the damn menorah. 
right? You can rub the <laughs> rub the menorah down with some olive oil, no folly, right? And then your uh, your wax won't really stick, all right? If you rub the um, <laughs> yes, stop laughing at me, <laughs> right? You can rub it down with some olive oil, and then the wax when the wax melts, it it won't really stick to the uh, menorah, all right? The water yash. Um, also, um, I have olive oil burners. I'll come back and show that on another video. I'll show that on another video. I have olive oil burners that is no mess. You just put the olive oil burner on and you light it and it just burns the olive oil. You don't get no mess on your menorah. I have those available also. This is the 12 inch. All right, this is the 12 inch. Right here, and last but not least, these are just the ones I have for display. I have more um, on display. I mean, more sizes. This is the 18 inch with Jerusalem on the front and Shalom and the uh, modern Hebrew on the back. All right, this is the 18 inch. 18 inch right here. All right, 18 inch. All right, so those are the four sizes I have on display. All right, to show right now. Also, um, if y'all want to rock y'all menorahs for the eight days, I got the menorah chains. All right. Um, let me see what I got here. I got the menorah chains. Um, I have a, I have red, red on gold. I have like an off white on gold with silver, red on gold. With like an off white. Um, I got the one around my neck, like a goldish around my neck. I got a um, blue with gold, navy blue with gold, with like an off white. And another navy blue with gold, with like an off white. And I got a few more um, I can show, but those are the menorah chains you can wear, you know, throughout your eight days of uh, Hanukkah, kind of car. All right. So inbox me for ordering and pricing details. Um, support Hebrew business. Um, don't get simple. The elder just trying to make merchandise out of the people. All right, but then go give your damn money to Amazon and the white man. I mean, it, it, whatever. Because some of y'all be over-righteous and simple as hell. But, you know, um, it is what it is. I'm just putting out a little disclaimer. I don't have to, but what the hell. Um, anyway... Your uh, uh, menorahs are still available. Menorah chains. Inbox me for pricing and ordering details. Um, Kanai Zabak here on Facebook or Instagram or House of Israel NYC at gmail.com. All right. And make sure, try to make sure you have your menorahs in your homes and you burn them for the eight days of dedication. If you don't have, contact me. I can get it to you as fast as possible so you can have it for the Feast of Dedication. All right, um, <clears throat> so that's it. Um, also, HOI, Los Angeles. If you're in the Los Angeles area, we will be hosting the Feast of Dedication of Hanukkah Wednesday, December 6, 2023 at evening. Service starts at 8 p.m. All right, uh, there's no small menorah chain. It's one size. It's one size. It's about, uh, seven, about seven inches. It's one size. There's no small. All right, I can look into it, but there's no small for now. All right, um, any questions or comments before, you know? I know some of y'all going to watch this video and say, when does, when does Hanukkah start, Elder? You're going to inbox me, you're going to email me or inbox me and say, when does Hanukkah start? After watching the video. Israel, y'all could be a piece of work. <laughs> but I love y'all. Shalom, Mariah. <laughs> So um, that's about it, I guess. No folly, no folly, no folly. Um, everybody enjoy their Hanukkah season. Those of y'all that I don't see, because I'll be on the West Coast in Los Angeles. Inglewood, up to all kinds of good for the Most High's Hanukkah feast day. So if you're in the LA area, um, inbox me. Like I said, I'm not. We're not going to broadcast the address because you got to be vetted. You got to kind of know who you are before you come to the feast. But um, inbox me here, Kanai Zabak, or Instagram, or um, House of Israel NYC at gmail.com. 
All right. So that's it. All right. Come together. Enjoy the Most High's feast and, um, you know, give all praises, honor and glory to the Most High on his uh, great feast day that's coming up that we're about to celebrate. All right. Um, and that's that. Enjoy the eight days. Eat, drink, be merry. Let everything be in moderation. All right. Don't go too crazy and enjoy the feast. If you're driving and traveling, watch your drinking. All right. If you're going out, maybe, you know, brothers, sisters might be getting together for a Hanukkah celebration, the third night, fourth night, fifth night. Um, you know, you might be going out drinking, maybe park your car or take an Uber. All right. Or get a ride with somebody that's not really going to be drinking. All right. Be careful. You know, we turn up too. we turn up too. We turn up too for these feast days. So, um, you know, be mindful. That's all we said. Everybody be careful. Um, eat, drink, be merry. Don't overindulge, you know. Um, and if you do, once the feast is over, get back in that gym. Get back on your healthier diet, whatever the case may be. You might splurge a little bit because it's the feast day, but, you know, everything in moderation. Balance it out. All right. Make that so-called New Year's resolution. 2024? Well, that's not really our New Year. Our New Year is April 7th uh, this year. By the way, the calendars will be coming soon. The calendars should be ready in another week. So like here for the delay, um, I had to travel a lot during November. So, um, you know, it, it delayed and the calendar being produced. But the calendar will... We'll be here, Salakia, way before 2024. We're not going to wait to January 5th to put the calendar out. We're going to, most high will, even though you can still get it then. You can still get it then, but, um, you know, we want to put the calendar out way before that. We should be, contact me in about a week. We should have an update. All right. Let me get a full calendar this year. Um, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a send you out a link. Um, where y'all will be able to purchase it at. Um, most I will. All right. But, and, and we're going to have the, a regular printed copy too. All right. Or you can, you can get the actual calendar to put on your wall. So like you. All right. So um, that's about it. All right. That's about it. Unless there's any more questions or comments. So that's it. All right. So HOI, we here. Uh, we in the building. Most I will. All praise to you. How about you? My shock. I was shy. Um, the work must go on. Endure to the end. He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. By Shema my shock. I was shy. Kwame Ashala. If Yahweh shall be lifted up, he will draw all men unto us. Kwame Ashala. All right, family. So I'm going to sign off with that. Asha Kanaka. Happy Hanukkah 2023. Starting at. Um, Wednesday, December 6th at even. This Wednesday, December 6th at even. All right, we'll be in Los Angeles. If you're in the Los Angeles area, come on out and fellowship with the elder in HOI Los Angeles. I think a few other camps might be stopping by. Uh, come on out and fellowship with the family. All right? So uh, that's about it, family. Asha Kanaka, happy Hanukkah 2023. Everybody have a blessed season. Any questions or comments y'all have, inbox me or email me. House of Israel NYC at gmail.com. If you still need menorahs, hit me up. I can still get you your menorahs. I can still get them to you in a, in a timely, you know, in a good timely uh, fashion, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And uh, let's make it happen. All right. All praise to you. How about you, Mashiach? Y'all shy. Kwame Ashala, we still got next. Hallelujah. HOI to the chariots fly. All the camps in Yahweh and Yahweh shy throughout the four corners of the earth. HOI pull up, boys. We still got next. Bring it out. All praise to see how when you have a shot for Evan of our man. Shalom. Kun. Kun. Kwame Shalom. Everybody have a blessed Hanukkah season 2023. Shalom.